Hi guys, it's Brigitte with another pick a card reading. So, whoever is new, welcome to my channel, tribe, welcome back, love you as always. Now, we're looking at seven days from whenever you come across this video. So, just pick one of these cards from my intuitive deck. I'm going to zoom in. We're starting with number one on the left side, number two in the middle, number three if you need some more time just pause the video and i'm going to meet you in the timestamps hi tribe whoever has picked pile number one this intuitive card let's get into it so i have kind of split this reading and we're gonna go over a couple of things here that's your overall energy seven days from whenever you're watching this video so as you can tell guys most of you will be feeling um kind of i wouldn't say um i don't read this card as a strength card as it as a regular tarot it has a bit of a kick to it i feel like whoever has been um feeling a little bit imbalanced that's what you're going to be working on seven days from now um i'm also getting whoever has had any kind of illnesses diseases whatever it is guys you have been battling with that's something you will be healing seven days from now some of you i kind of feel like you might be wanting to go for a walk or sit outside somewhere and it's going to ground yourself more overall energy you will be feeling much stronger mentally that's what i'm seeing here for pile number one some of you physically too if you look at that wolf over there but i feel like you will be working with your own thoughts over here to heal yourself okay now let's get into this as i can see here from my intuitive deck you might be feeling seven days from now that you want to take care of your own appearance a little bit more um it feels like pile number one you have been i have quite a bit of reverse cards here you might have been feeling in the recent past or now while watching this video as if you don't earn enough money as if you don't have enough money um, there is a lack of something here okay and also as if you you know chaos has kind of gone i feel like you have been in this position here where you have been feeling like screaming because of something that has happened for you for some of you it might be to do with your home environment for some of you it might be to do with your own finances here okay we have five of pentacles reversing that's in the future now so i want to talk about this a little bit whoever is intuitive here or whoever has um, connection with spirituality of any sorts I feel like you might have been feeling a little bit blocked okay your moon is upside down here high priestess is upside down here you might be feeling like um, you know what I think it's time for me to get back on track because if you look at the sky that you have picked we have two beautiful colors blending in together together kind of perfectly here okay there's not too much uh copper not too much silver here they both kind of collide pretty nicely so you're aiming for balance seven days from now and it's very like you know simple balance and you know trying to balance your own emotions but i really feel like for pile number one it hasn't been an easy ride for the past probably month or two maybe longer for some of you you will be getting back on track with whoever hasn't been studying as much or hasn't been working as much as they should have. Uh, you have the hero fun here. I usually read this uh, card from this deck in a different way. Some of you might be visiting monastery of some sorts, um, heritage buildings. Some of you might be uh, dealing with it. I do not see that uh, you might get a message from someone to help you someone who has been feeling like this themselves in the past something about you guys being a teacher of some sort someone who has more knowledge than this other person okay and i see this scenario clearly here uh, someone who probably doesn't have as much knowledge as you in something and it feels like you have been through a lot of struggles 
in the past and you still may be dealing with some of them um, a lot of mental kind of issues are coming through here guys whatever you are battling with right now you will be slowly coming back on track and this is something i think a lot of you will be looking forward to because it will put things to perspective here where you will be coming back uh, to life with a bang really you know you will kind of find the way how to ground yourself and uh, grounding is a very kind of simple word but it's the most pow powerful thing if you want to cope with anything in life really as long as you ground it you can get through it okay now some of you will be trying to earn more money and um, even though this is reversed, this is saying, you know what, this tree is growing slowly. So be patient a little bit with your finances. Things will start moving, I would say, three to four weeks from whenever you're watching this video, okay? You will be able to flip this card upright. Um, a lot of shedding is happening in pile number one. Um, some of you have something to do with maybe fashion, maybe design, something to do with creative spirit over here. And I feel like you will be coming up with some ideas, guys. Um, some of you will be actually improving your household, as I see with the intuitive deck. There is something in your home that you will be doing that will make you feel better. Okay, let me see more. There is something more here. Is anyone buying a house or going to look to rent a place? So some of you are going through the change here regarding the home environment, as I see with the intuitive and the hero fun has two set of sets of keys here. So if you are going to look for a new place, make sure once you go to that place that the vibe um you feel is right. It goes with your gut feeling, okay? You don't need unnecessary uh, negative energy in the place. And um, pay attention to neighbors for only those who are vibing with this storyline here, okay? There's something else coming through here. I feel like someone might, might uh, come and apologize to you guys, okay? That's what I'm getting intuitively. Um, someone that you might have forgotten about or someone who hasn't been in contact for a long time they might come back and apologize to you but I feel like it's not something that you would want to hear it feels like you would say you know what I don't need you to, to communicate with me even though it wouldn't be an apology for some of you an old connection is coming back that you do not really want to accept okay Overall, I keep seeing trees here, even though I know I have one with a um, ton of pens, but I kind of get a vibe in this whole situation that the tree, you know, it takes time for a tree to grow, guys. So patience is needed for pile number one. It might be a difficult time when you might be feeling a little bit disconnected right now, but it's saying there were some lessons on the way for you to understand how to approach situations, okay? Now you have a thicker book before you didn't have it. You know, the knowledge is written one by one on each page. So you're gathering your own experiences. Do not feel bad about anything that has happened in the past. That's something that's um, causing you any type of kind of confusion. Kind of keep on moving, okay? Grounding is something that has to be worked on for pile number one. And sun rays, it's something that might be able to heal you together with nature. Because we have quite a lot of green here and we have quite a bit of dark cards. This is telling me... Uh, sorry guys, got cut off. This is telling me that uh, you guys are in need of the light. And that light is coming, simple as, okay? As long as you actually tune into yourself and spend some time there, okay? Do not try to uh, blame anyone for whatever has happened in the past. Do not try to look for um, situations to blame, people to blame. Nothing is going to work. You have to shed your ego and keep on walking. Hero Fund is the guy who, who you know. He knows what he's doing. He has experience. He goes by traditions. Um, I like this guy. But maybe some of you actually have to approach the situation because I have the seven of wands here reversed um high priestess reversed is saying maybe you have to approach one situation where you're not as traditional you know do something different that you always have done before 
Uh, another thing that I'm seeing here, you might start understanding why it is that you are you have been feeling down regarding your uh, material wealth, whatever it would be, guys. Would it be work? Would it be something that you would would want but you don't have? You will start realizing something about yourself where you're like, mm, is it something that would really make me happy? I'm not sure, you know. Because if you look at this five of pens, suddenly shining with pentacles, with money, right? But this guy still doesn't care about it because that's not what matters. So pile number one, it's a little bit intense. Now, let's look at what to avoid, guys, okay? So seven days from now, more or less, avoid uh, third-party situations and avoid someone who is trying to hide some information from you. So make sure, again, you listen to your gut feeling because I feel like in the past there was a situation where you have not and you've learned from it. Listen to your gut feeling and um, try not to communicate with people too much or don't get close to people who are not telling you complete truth or you feel like they are not, okay? Especially for those who might be dealing with any kind of third party situation would it be third energy job would it be uh, third energy someone's mother would it be someone's um, girlfriend whatever it is boyfriend um, make sure you stay away from it because it feels like seven days from now karma might bite your ass a bit if you're not going to do right uh, things not in the right way but by what your gut is telling you by what your gut is telling you is morally okay to do it's something about that energy here where you might be walking away a little bit disappointed okay so kind of trying to keep away from also in inter intervening in people's relationships in general okay if someone asks you for advice be reasonable but i would tell them you know what it's not my business um try to avoid ego try to avoid getting involved in situations that you feel like you shouldn't okay so i hope this has helped pile number one gave you any insight whoever is new welcome to my tribe and subscribe and whoever is my tribe you are dope thanks for listening bye for now Hello tribe who has picked pile number two in this intuitive card. So what I'm seeing right off the bat from what you've picked guys is that there is going to be a good balance of masculine and feminine energies in you. What it means, feminine and masculine. There's going to be a little bit more of masculine though from what I'm seeing here. You might be feeling a little bit... Hmm. How should I say this for you guys? Straightforward, some of you might be feeling like you want to get late or you might be feeling horny seven days from now, okay? There is something about this situation, what I'm seeing, that you might be... The overall energy, we have the magician here and you might be feeling that you want to do a lot. And that's fem uh, masculine energy too, right? Magician is someone who goes, goes, goes um, and does things, okay? Um, and you have the high priestess reverse here, you know, feminine is reversed so a little bit for you the next week. So it might be that you are feeling motivated, you want to do things, you want to accomplish things. Make sure you don't overwork yourself uh, seven days from now. Use those tools that you have wisely, okay, so that it uh, doesn't happen that you completely repress your feminine energy where you might be uh, shutting off a little bit emotionally, okay? That's something to look at, but overall, Magician is a great thing to have, great card to have. Uh, you will be mastering all of those four energies here, okay? You have um, swords, cups, wands, and pentacles. You are going to be able to kind of um, easily get things what you want seven days from now let's say easier than you have before, okay? Let's tilt the camera and let's talk a bit more about this. So we have the High Priestess reversed and Queen of Pants reversed and I have the Lovers and I see a situation here. And I don't think a lot of you will like it, but you know what, I don't care, I'm joking. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> Only because I want you guys to um, hear readings that are not sugarcoated, okay? So if you're here for that, that's what you're going to get. Now, I see a situation where... Hmm. I'm just going to see someone because I'm not sure which, which you know, situation 
I'm not, I'm not going to want to flip the situations here. I see feminine in relationship with masculine. Some of them might have a child together from my intuitive deck. And there is someone else involved in the picture. And again, we have page of wands, you know, and I have uh, children over here, ch children over there. So it might be a situation where... Uh, someone might be feeling left out of this energy, okay? So whoever feels drawn to uh, someone that has a child or has um, left their partner or about to leave them, uh, you might be also feeling a little bit left out as if your needs are not being met over here, okay? The High Priestess is reversed. As I said before, Magician is ruling you. You might be feeling that you need more attention and you might not be getting as much of it as you want, okay? Or the attention you are getting, not necessarily romantically, seven days from now is not going to satisfy all of you. If you look at this girl over here, uh, this guy is very much into this connection and this girl is not so much. She is like, what well, I'm going to eat next, you know, what beer I'm going to be drinking, <laughs> what veggies I'm going to buy tomorrow, like literally. So I see someone being uh, not very present in the relationship, whatever it would be, whatever connection would be. And that's why we have four of cups here. Okay. We have someone literally sitting like meh. But that's going to be going away because Four of Cups is reversed, okay? So now it's getting a little bit better. Whoever is looking for, forward to hearing uh, any kind of news from someone and you might uh, start losing hope already. Eight of Wands is saying, you know, it's coming. Do not get bored too much because uh, it wasn't a time just yet. So whatever information that was on your mind before, and you kind of have forgotten about it or you decided that you're not interested in someone or something anymore, you're going to hear about it seven days from now. And I, and I kind of hear 10 for some of you, so kind of extend it a bit. Now let's see what other situations we have here. Very little part of you, I see a situation where someone doesn't want... Um, to be around uh, children or have a child it's something about that but they will have to something about uh the energy where you might be thinking that you know what or someone simple situation like you get on a plane and you wish there are no children around you and then here you go you sit next to one and therefore you cannot uh, manage <laughs> So uh, be careful what you're thinking about because I told you magician is your main energy here. So even though magician is uh, talking about you getting things uh, sorted easily and being able to get things, uh, as well as it's talking about good things, it might be talking about bad things too. So make sure you don't attract this negative energy by thinking negatively, by thinking that what if... Uh, by thinking uh, that it might not happen. So seven days from now, whenever you're watching this video, you have to flip the situation upside down. You know, I do have enough and I will have this happen for me because I deserve it. Because some of you literally might not be interested in something that you should be finding more motivation for as right now as I speak. The motivation for some of you might have been gone for something, okay? So it's kind of a refresh, refreshing start for you seven days from now. I feel like for some of you, it might be a little bit quicker, that little spark in you, where if you have lost interest in your partner, if you have lost spark in relationship, in any relationship, really, uh, it's going to be changing and shifting a bit. Now, what to avoid, guys, for you, pile number two. It's a very straightforward reading, by the way. It might be shorter than other, other piles. Um... What to avoid, I have two steampunk uh, tarot uh, cards, sorry, here. Avoid feeling a victim, any kind of a victim, okay? And it's very much vibing with this four of uh, cups here, you know, not very nice vibes going on, right? Avoid f uh, feeling a victim of your own emotions or of your own actions. It's something about the situation where even though you're moving forwards, you're not seeing that, you know, 
anything good is gonna come out of it. I mean, this is not a stagnant energy, Five of Pentacles, we all know what it means, but I'm picking up another scenario here. Someone is moving forward, but they are still not happy with it. So try to look at life from a different perspective here. It's kind of dark here now, okay? Make sure that you see those colors behind you. And it's easy to say, but hard to do. Uh, make sure that you communicate things that you want to communicate, okay? King of Swords was reversed in a position where it said what to avoid. And it's saying avoid not communicating clearly. Avoid holding things in you, okay? You have a lot of knowledge, pal number two. You're someone who's read a lot, who's interested in many things. Make sure you show it. Make sure you show and talk about emotions that you have inside of you because otherwise it might be feeling a little bit meh, you know, inside of yourself. Also, it's something about you guys uh, and uh, are you planning to get on, go on a trip or somewhere? But it's very interesting. I don't feel like for most of you it's going to be pleasure. For some of you might. But it's something to do with research, something to do with... Um, even though it would be pleasure, you might be uh, planning very far ahead where it's, it would include... A different kind of activities or getting to know something it's something about that energy where it's kind of further ahead of you but it's very interesting it's not boring and I feel like some of you have connection or with ships or with boats or something to do with that maybe you are aiming to travel in in life because it sits right next to the eight of wands maybe that's why you're feeling a little bit meh because you want to go somewhere move somewhere you know you want things to start shifting and hmm, i feel like I don't know why I picked this up. Uh, whoever is watching panel number two, I really like the way you dress. Something about the way you dress, uh, accessory or something about it. You know, I see lace. Something about this that I'm picking up. It's a bit different maybe from many people. Um, that was random, right? But what I was trying to say here, try and have some fun seven days from now. Whatever you have been doing and you saw that it's not working for the best for you, try to shift energy by, by going and seeing a movie. Go and uh, listen to live music. Go and see uh, whatever your favorite artist. Um, go to see an art to the art gallery. Go maybe craft something yourself and turn that queen upright for yourself, okay? Um, you will need to do something seven days from now that kind of boosts your feminine energy up because you might be staying a little bit too much in the masculine, which is a good thing to do. But because I see a lot of cards reversed, it's saying it's not going to probably work out for the best of you if you keep on going like this. Get everything you need from the masculine. Get shit done, but do not forget your feminine because that's something that you have to get back in tune with, with, okay? Also, I really feel like some of you could just go on a date with someone new. If there is any old energy that's not working for you, for most of you, uh, regarding relationship or you keep hoping for something to happen and it keeps ending up like this, you know, it's your message here saying, you know what, go and have some fun and maybe even hugging someone or having this new and lighthearted energy about this situation is going to boost things up and is going to make you um, go forward with more motivation, more love in your heart, okay? Something about that energy here. That's what I have for you, pile number two. Whoever is in my tribe, you are dope as usual. Love you. And uh, whoever is new, consider subscribing. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three. So we have this card from Intuitive Deck. And what it's telling me straight away is it's going to be a very interesting scenario. We're going to talk about it a bit. I'm gonna start off with this card first. You might find out some secrets that you haven't known about or some information will be coming to the surface that you haven't probably expected, okay? Some of you might not like it, some of you might like it. Um, too many scenarios, but the main thing here is secrets coming to the surface, okay? 
and it sits right next to the Emperor here and my Emperor in this goddess deck it's a mean man okay <laughs> so whatever that secret is or information you will be finding out for some of you it might actually piss you off but I feel like that's going to be your lesson that you have to go through okay shedding the ego is going to be the biggest lesson for you guys but do not take this message as a main message it's one of them there are so many here let's kind of tune in to what's going on is anyone going to uh somewhere warm or maybe someone lives somewhere where the air is really dry and hot it's something about i almost see like a desert over here so it's probably gonna vibe with 0.01% with you here guys, you know, but let's get into this a little bit more What I'm seeing From this whole situation is it's funny that I have the high priestess I had in every single pile But the other two it was reversed as a first one. Okay, so you guys whoever is doing tarot by the way I wanna pass a message to you do not sugarcoat things if you read in tarot here okay i'm seeing a situation where the truth have to has to be spoken in a manner where you say things and um you kind of let it let it fly like those butterflies okay obviously do not be rude but there's going to be a piece of information that might be misunderstood uh, whatever you will be feeling do not try to hide it kind of try to put it out there in a nice way possible but still uh, kind of straightforward okay um, and also in the position what to avoid I have eight of ones re reversed okay avoid not taking action basically the opposite is take action whatever it is especially with communication here seven days from now okay so those uh, messages were for the intuitives here in general guys whatever you will be feeling pile number three you're golden gut feeling okay uh pay attention to it because it's going to lead you good ways if you feel like someone is stalking you probably someone is it's i have this kind of stalker energy here for some of you it might be you and this is something that you will have to avoid uh, more or less seven days from now because it, the information might come to surface for some of you okay maybe that's something that you want so that will be a good thing for you okay maybe you want to be noticed by that person take it however it resonates because i have six of cups here and i see that someone is not coming back from the past whom, whom you're waiting for so maybe for some of you, you feel like you have been working really hard towards maybe uh, fixing your wounds, uh, licking your wounds and uh, things have not been moving forward regarding your emotional state or regarding any kind of past connection that you might have right now on your mind. And this is saying basically, you know, I have two cards in this deck, both of them um, talk kind of similar way even though the sun card is um, means something else but I do see both of them you know talking about childhood and this is nostalgia and this is you know all of those kind of nice memories that you have and um, a lot of them might be popping up in your head uh, seven days from now even my queen of pentacles looks like she's reminiscing about the past doesn't she she's just chilling over there so for some of you guys, I'm seeing also a situation where you will be paying attention to your home environment, which is a really nice thing to do. Some of you might be decorating. I see it with the intuitive deck, literally feeling um, like being home more. Some of you, some of you might be uh, changing something in your household that's going to make you feel a uh, a little bit more at peace so if you feel like you can't sleep well maybe try to change the position of your bed you know in your room trying to change uh, change the uh, furniture around in your house it's something about that energy that I'm seeing here now another message what I'm getting here guys do not work hard but work smart um, seven days from now some of you might be actual bosses some of you are in a higher position not all but whoever is 
feeling like you have been overworked for the past year or two, the message for you here is saying you don't have to take as much pressure on yourself anymore. Kind of let it go. Remember how it used to be uh, when you were not putting as much expectations on yourself. Like you were a child, okay? You have to reverse the six, six of cups here. And kind of say to yourself, it's okay to be lighthearted sometimes. It's okay to kind of take it easy. It's okay not to work as hard as much. So do something about the energy here. Let's see what else is coming through. Literally, someone might be visiting uh, someone who has uh, kids and you're going to have a blast. Your feminine is very much in... Uh, is going to be in tune with you, okay? The Queen of Pants, the High Priestess is there. It's saying that you might be feeling your most feminine self. You will also be getting a lot of messages from above. Pay attention what it is that universe is telling you, but it's not, uh, it's not going to be signs in the physical. It's going to be more so coming through like feelings and uh, intuition for you guys. It's not those one one ones, you know, you see on the clock. It's nothing like that. Nothing that your eyes can see. It's something that you will be able to feel. You might be able to uh, st suddenly start feeling like good days are ahead of you. There is that shift that's coming towards you in the way where if, as I said before, you have been over overworked, even though sun is reversed, it's saying it's come and you know you're going to finally be able to take a break and spend some time with people that you love. I really do feel like for a lot of you guys, family vibes are going to be better than usual. Um, you might be able to, whoever has problems in, in their family circle, I feel like it's going to be easing off. Whoever has problems with their mom or grandma is going to be uh, a little bit better than it was before. For those who have it good, it's going to be really good. Okay, let me see what else. It's something about a dog here, guys. Uh, so I would say if there is going to be a situation where you'll be walking on a street and you feel like, again, everything is going to be about your gut feeling, guys, please listen to it. Um, if you'll be feeling like you have to avoid someone or an animal on the street or someone in particular on a street, listen to it and maybe keep your distance because, again, I keep looking at this Knight of Swords in my deck. Um, this is someone who is kind of, who has an eye on you, but it's winter time, it's not warm, you know, I have a cold feeling from this. So kind of, uh, that's something for you guys to avoid. Pay attention to your gut feeling. That's your, literally, that's how this pile should be called, gut feeling. <laughs> also, um, whoever feels like you have been uh Kind of saying yes to too many things, you will be stopping doing so seven days from now. You will be kind of in tune with your own masculine as well, where you'll be like, you know what, enough, enough is enough. I'm going to tell you what I think, but not in the manner from ego or anger, more so where... I'm good. I, I told you what I was thinking. And, you know, that's your problem now, how you're going to react to it. And that's the way to go. You know, say things nicely to people and what they think or how they react to it. It's not your problem anymore because you're being open to yourself and others around you. That's the energy you'll have to go for. Now, whoever is the boss, uh, be easy on your co-workers seven days from now because I feel like it might be a situation where or you are overworked or they are overworked you know words are being exchanged and someone might understand something therefore it might come out as a tense situation uh, whoever has been struggling with money uh, you will feel like you have enough so even though you might not be getting, you know, money from left and right, but you will kind of be coming up to this understanding where, you know what, I have the roof above my head, I have a car, or even if you don't have a car, I can walk. Everything is okay with my life. It's all about the perception of how I see it, okay? 
it's a lot to do for pile number three with also this change of perception and mindset in a way but it's for the better as if the confusion was there in the past but now you're standing in the queen of swords saying oh cool i'm good you know whatever would be happening around you i don't feel like people will be influencing you as easily anymore let's see what else here also whoever has the boss who who is an air sign the boss will start seeing your good work. You you might get rewarded for whatever it is that you are doing, guys. Because whatever karma you have been kind of building up for yourself, I'm talking about good karma, it will be coming towards you seven days from now. So make sure that even if you're about to give up, you know, about a task where you're like feeling, oh, I don't have enough patience for this S, you know, Kind of push a tiny little bit more because I feel like your recognition is coming soon for you. But do not overwork yourself, okay? If you have had a project or there was a task that's like a... It took you a period, period of time. So that's something that I'm talking about, guys. Do not give up the last minute. For those who have been working too hard, but it was, you know, this monotonic work where it's, everything is the same and there's really like no major goal take it easy on yourself and go and do something that you have done in your childhood something that you used to do in the past maybe you had a tradition with friends or with family members and it's going to kind of revive the whole energy about you guys um really nice home environment in general for you pile number three and also a very nice gut feeling. I like that about you. You're in between logical and also someone who is in tune with what they're feeling and therefore they're going to go for it. So that's how you should be kind of going about the situation seven days from now. Okay. And also avoid ego for some of you. Okay. Who is in the higher position or who tends to get angry quick. Make sure that you uh, think before you speak because that's something to avoid for you. Okay. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, um, ideas, thoughts spoken, you know, and then comes out with a smoke. So it might end up being a little bit um, kind of meh for you. So that's what I have for you, for you, pile number three. Whoever is new, consider subscribing and join my tribe. My tribe, love you as always. Bye for now.